Joe Frazier and Jerry Quarry. In the center of the ring, Johnny Addy, famed introducer of fighters here at the Garden Arena through all the years. That's Joe Frazier, the champion, loosening up as fighters are wont to do just before the big event and taking a drink of water from the bottle. He has been very loose, very confident. There's Jerry Quarry, the challenger from Bellflower, California. Johnny Flores, his co-manager next to him. And on the other side, oddly, Gil Clancy, the manager of Emil Griffith, who's working in Quarry's corner, too, for this bout. And Johnny Addy has just introduced the man who holds the other share of the heavyweight championship, Jimmy Ellis, recognized by the WBA in 44 states. Jimmy wishes Quarry luck. And now, now Frazier, the two men smiled at one another, but believe me, there's no real good feeling between them. Johnny is about to introduce the men who will be serving as judges, the timekeeper, and the referee. And in the corner to the left of your screen is the referee, Arthur McCanty, I think one of the best in the business. Here's Johnny Ash. Referee for the main event, Arthur McCanty. 15 rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing from Bellflower, California, he's wearing pink trunks, he weighs 198 and a half pounds, the challenger, Jerry Quarry. He's wearing black trunks. He weighs 203 and a half. The heavyweight champion of the world, Joe Frazier. 15 rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world. Good evening, Joe. Instructions Jerry. by Arthur McCann. All of the standard rules of the New York State Athletic Commission will apply to this heavyweight championship of the world this evening. Three knockdowns uh, will, will automatically end the contest. If you're knocked down, you must take an eight count. Beware of Mandatory the eight be count. Now, shake hands Penalty for fouls. Fight scored on a rounds basis. Supplemental point rule. Three knockdowns in a round and the fight ends. Three knockdown rule not waived here in New York State. Ready for round one. And there it is. go against them, just slipping back against them. A left landed against Joe's head. Joe came in with a right up gut. Barry is landing off it. Frazier keeps his gloves low and is an open target for punches to the head. Quarry is landing frequently. Frazier just got in a quick left and a right. But watch Quarry with those quick hands. A right, no left. This crowd is very much pro Quarry. Quarry fighting differently thus far in this bout. Not retreating. Quarry carrying the fight to Frazier, who is unrelentingly aggressive himself and usually swarms all over the opponent. A lot of punches thrown in this first round. A good left by Frazier and a good counter punch right by Quarry. We have a minute and a half left in the first round. The general conviction is that Quarry can take a punch better than Frazier. He's got a granite-like chin, but he hasn't perhaps faced a man who can hit like Frazier before. Quarry is hiding his face behind his gloves. One minute left in round one. Both men trying to do damage to the midsection.
strike by Quarry that hurt Frazier a little bit. 30 seconds left in the first round. The two men trading punches throughout the round. A good left by Quarry. Those who think that Quarry has just the right style for Frazier may be finding encouragement in this round. style the crowd noise here is terrific I realize that it will be interesting I was saying to see if quarry reverts to natural style and counter punches two lefts by quarry one to the midsection one to the neck area neither doing any damage Frazier the attacker remember when you see quarry against the ropes it is always his ruse to go back there and then suddenly unload left-right combinations. He has fooled many opponents that way, including Floyd Patterson. There is blood coming from Quarry Stone. Now, Frazier is pummeling Quarry with lefts and rights. Quarry striking back and getting it a good left and right. This is a slugfest. Obvious. We're a minute 25 seconds into round two. Incidentally, Angelo Dundee, manager of Jimmy Ellis, and Jimmy Ellis himself both gave the first round to Quarry, who is not quite carrying the fight in this round the way he did in the first round. A good right, though, by Quarry right there. Oh, a good right by Quarry, and another good right by Quarry. Frazier, when he delivers his left, drops the hand and leaves himself wide open for the right. He has always been vulnerable to this punch. One minute left in round two. They are directly above us now. The action slightly still. Some holding and pushing. A left by Quarry. And two quick lefts by Frazier. A right by Frazier. Quarry trying to go to the midsection. All right, step back, Greg. Greg, step back, Joe. We have just 30 seconds left in round two. A left by Quarry. A left to the belly by Frazier. of leather thrown in the first two rounds. Square Garden, Frazier against Quarry, heavyweight championship fight. Frazier, black trunks, Quarry, red. Frazier, oh, a good right by Frazier. An attempt to follow up with a left that missed. Another good left, and Quarry was stung. He's hurt. Now he's trying to fight out of it against the ropes. Frazier drew blood from Quarry's left nostril and perhaps from the mouth in the second round. I think hurt. Perhaps not seriously. Now he's moving out. Frazier is a relentless fighter. He comes 
comes and he comes and he comes and he's willing to absorb punishment while some of his punches loop. While they're not straight, their accumulative impact is enormous. The blood is coming from Quarry's left nostril again. I trust you can see it. Now Quarry comes in with a good left and right. Quarry is a tough kid, I'll tell you that. We are just about a minute and a half into this round three. For those of you scoring the fight, you might be interested to know that Jimmy Ellis' manager, Angie Dundee, has it one round apiece so far. Ellis has it two rounds, Quarry, none Frazier. Dundee gave Frazier the second round, and so far, Frazier is clearly the winner of this round. But Jerry is fighting off the ropes effectively, as he always does. We are coming up to the two-minute mark in round three. Frazier's left himself continually open to the quarry right, and that's been Quarry's best punch thus far. Arthur McCanny, whom you see from time to time in the picture, the referee is one of the better ones. The reason he has great mobility, he is always in good position. Subconsciously, you'll catch him moving and always positioned properly so that no fighter, neither fighter, can be unduly damaged. for round four, Madison Square Garden, New York City. Heavyweight championship fight. Joe Frazier, black trunks. Jerry Quarry, red. Frazier coming on strongly in the third round. Quarry looking very good in the first round. Not counter-punching then, carrying the fight. But now back in his old style as Frazier continually carries the fight. Swarming over him, having him against the ropes. Getting him with a good left, a good right. Oh, a very good left by Joe Frazier. He is a tough kid, this Joe Frazier, I'll tell you. A left and a left again. And Quarry knows he's in some fight. But Quarry has a granite chin. Nobody's ever knocked him out. However, you can see a growing confidence in Frazier. He is directly over us now with Quarry pinioned in the corner. We have two minutes left in round four. Quarry, black trunks, uh, red trunks, Frazier, black trunks. You see the blood underneath Quarry's right eye on the che cheekbone. When it's under the eye, there is no danger, of course, of blinding the fighter. It's the cuts over the eyes that cause fights to be stopped. Frazier is pummeling Quarry consistently now, doing great damage with the left. Quarry's face swelling, becoming a pulpy mess. Frazier.
Frazier appears basically unmarked. We have a minute to go in round four as Frazier again connects with the left. It's getting in there still. Uh, the crowd yells at a left by quarried in the midsection, but it doesn't do the damage that their partisanship would like to have had it done. Would like to have had it do. Frazier swinging him around against the ropes as the crowd boos. They are so much for Quarry. But he is unrelentingly aggressive, Frazier, connected with a right lead. He is commanding this fight right now, dominating it completely. 15 seconds left and this the fourth round. Commission doctor is coming into the ring to look at Jerry Quarry's eye, but let's get back to Joe Frazier for a moment as Yancey Durham works over him. Notice how calmly he's sitting there. Joe checking out his left eye through the hands of Yancey Durham. Now back to Quarry being examined by the commission doctor together with Arthur McCanny, the referee, as they discuss the matter. The problem here is not the flow of blood, but the fact that Quarry's right eye is puffing up severely and his vision may be becoming impaired. As I said earlier, if the flow of blood is from a cut above the eye, the fighter is almost automatically blinded, and many fights are stopped very quickly when that kind of injury occurs. But here, the cut is below the eye, but it is a severe cut, and the eye is puffing. keeps coming after him, getting him with the left. Remember, Quarry always keeps that right low, and the left can get over it again and again and again. Fatal weakness. Quarry trying to move more now. You see him bouncing and bobbing and weaving a little, trying to move, but Frazier always after. Frazier as yet unmarked. The blood again coming out of Quarry's right cheekbone. The left getting in there steadily. Occasionally, the right. You see Frazier's left speak for itself. While they're directly above us, let's get a quick comment from Angelo Dundee, Jimmy Ellis's manager. Angie? Frazier completely dominating it now. Uh, Jerry can't get him set up for shots. He's slipping real good, and he's dominating the fight right now. Angelo Dundee saying exactly what we've been saying, that Frazier is completely dominant right now. The left is working in there with almost meticulous precision. The blood drawn from Quarry's face every round since the second. A minute and 30 seconds left to go, and this, the fifth round. Frazier, black trunk, Quarry red. Frazier, to most of us at ringside, dominating this fight ever since the second round. There's a minute left in the fifth round, and a lot of people thought this fight wouldn't go more than five rounds. Crowd getting worked up because Jerry has landed with a couple of rights, but Frazier is all over him. With the courage of Quarry, this fight could go a very long time indeed, unless it's stopped by the referee and the commission doctors because of the flow of blood from Quarry's face. 30 seconds left to go in the fifth round. Frazier, Black Trunks, Quarry, Red. Coming up to 15 seconds remaining in round five. Quarry 
in terrible trouble. Quarry in terrible trouble. In his corner as the bell rang out for the end of round five. And it appears to this reporter that Quarry may have hurt his right hand. Some felt that his left hand was puffy. The eye, as you can see, is in terrible shape. They are seeking to patch it up. The left side of the face is now puffy, pulpy. The blood continues to come out of the left nostril. Some question the condition of Quarry's left hand before this bout. It appeared to some boxing riders up in camp to have been a little puffy. But now, the thought here is that he may have damaged his right hand. Now the bell for round six. Joe Frazier, utterly unmarked, completely dominant now in the bout. Moving in strongly, aggressively, relentlessly, confident. Hitting with the left always above the lowered right of Jerry Quarry. He's right in bad shape right now, and Quarry uh, is getting balked pretty good. I just think that he's hurt his right hand, but he's not zinging it in like he did earlier. I think he definitely damaged his right hand. Angelo Dundee noting, too, that Quarry's right hand appears to have been hurt because he is not using it the way he did in the earlier going. One minute to go. One minute, rather, into the sixth round, two minutes to go. Here at Angie once and for all. Is Jimmy Ellis going to fight the winner of this fight? Jimmy will be happy to meet Fraser anytime. I assure you he won't be laying on the ropes like that. Angelo Dundee, the manager of Jimmy Ellis, the man who first managed and then trained Muhammad Ali. Quarry against the ropes. We have a minute 30 to go in round six. It has become, in effect, a ceaseless, steady pummeling by Frazier of Quarry. Certainly beginning with round three, very possibly with round two. Quarry carries the first round. We are coming up to the two-minute mark. A minute to go in round six. Frazier has not been able to put Jerry away. Jerry's got bulldog courage, a granite chin, but how long can he stand up under this relentless pursuit? And the cut-up face, the left, getting in there so terribly and so often. <laughs> Against the ropes now, and without the ability to spring off and strike with left-right combinations, Quarry becomes a sitting duck for continuing punishment. Little more than 10 seconds left in this round. That's the end of round six as a beaten, battered Jerry Quarry returns to his corner. Frazier, Black Trunks, Quarry Red Trunks, Madison Square Garden, New York City, heavyweight championship fight throughout the first six rounds. With the exception of the first round, Joe Frazier has been pummeling Quarry. He did it all over again in the sixth round, may have coasted a little bit. Quarry's face cut severely, especially the right cheekbone. You can see the cut immediately opened again by one of those Frazier lefts. The left keeps getting in there because Quarry keeps his right low. It's a defect he has had fatally throughout his boxing career. Fatally in the sense that he was always open to the punch. He has a successful record. 
but he was trapped by Machen and he was outboxed by Ellis. Frazier still unbeaten in 23 fights and apparently now coasting to some degree. Barry was a very tired young man as he went to his corner at the end of the sixth round. We are past the one minute mark in this the seventh round of the bout. As I said, unless this bout is stopped, or unless Quarry makes a stupendous rally, it could go very long indeed because Quarry has very great courage and can take a punch as well as anybody I have recently seen in the ring. Frazier got in a good right there. He's been doing most of the damage in the recent rounds with the left, reopening the cuts. Comes in with the right from time to time and lands effectively with it, reopening the flow of blood from the left nostril. We are approaching the two-minute mark in the seventh round. That's a tremendous cut under Quarry's right eye. A tremendous cut. Had it been over the eye, this fight would have been stopped long ago. Jerry, no spring. He doesn't seem to be able, as we pointed out, to throw that right with its usual zip. It may be that that right hand has been injured, but we can't know for sure till after the fight. 30 seconds to go in this, the seventh round. Frazier against Quarry. Black trunks, Frazier, red trunks, Quarry. the fight. The commission doctor and referee Arthur McCanny went over to Quarry's corner, examined his right eye. Puffy closed the left eye too now, substantially closed the vision apparently gone. Quarry crying bitterly. Didn't want the fight to be stopped, but it goes under state rules as a seven round knockout for Joe Frazier, still the heavyweight champion in six states. And the time has come to talk with Joe Frazier, the winner. Frazier jumping around the ring, as you can see. Introduced as still the heavyweight champion. Joe, come on over here. Joe, Quarry started fast. Won perhaps only the first round. Changed his style. What Quarry, happened after that? Quarry thought maybe he would rush me with a right hand. Surprise, I'll fall for it. But I've been working with guys, just like I say, good. And those guys were shooting right hands. Some of them been catching me. Some of Quarry right hand catch me. I'm in better condition than him, and I know how to survive them punches. You've seen the later rounds, I just stopped and stopped picking my shots after I had him slow down. If he had to go faster, I would go faster. And I would like to take time out to thank everybody around the whole wide world to watch who she really is the champion of the whole world. And I'll defend my title against anybody, any day, any time, but I think I'm going to retire right now. You're I'm kidding gonna, about retire. that. What's that? Yancey Durham, he's Joe's manager. Champion of the world. All you got to do, it's all about Cassius Clay. All I got to do, turn him loose and send him out. We'll, we'll tell him who's the champion you of the world. You want to fight Muhammad Ali. We'll we'll what about couple, Jimmy Ellis? We'll have a couple of more. We'll, we'll, we'll warm up with Jimmy Ellis. We'll fight Cassius Clay. Tell him to turn him loose and send him out here. We'll fight him. All right. Let's get, let's get Joe Frazier back here. Joe. Wipe him off, Yancey, and bring him back, please. Again, you're looking at ring center. Joe, come here. Joe, in effect, you told me a moment ago that you started to pick your shots. You were coasting. Are you telling right. me this was an easy fight? No, I didn't tell you it was an easy fight. Corey came out fast, and I took all the steam out of him in the first three rounds or four rounds, and I'd see that. So it wasn't no sense to me 
keep throwing a whole lot of vicious shot at him and I know I was going to miss him because all he was doing is covering up for the right eye and otherwise the left eye. So therefore, it wasn't no sense. Wait a minute. Here comes Jimmy Ellis. Come in here, Jimmy. Let me. Here's Jimmy Ellis. He now. No champ. I don't even stand with him. You ain't good enough, boy. Jimmy, turn around. Turn around and face he just said, you ain't no champ. He ain't even going to stand with you. What do you say? He's fighting all the guys I already beat. He haven't proved nothing. I beat Bonner. We don't hear him down two times. He's fighting Jerry Parker. I run away with the fight. When uh, do you want to fight Frazier? I'm ready to fight him tonight. I'm ready tonight. I'm in shape. I'm ready tonight. All right. Let's bring him over here. Joe. He says he's ready to fight he's you chump. tonight. He no cheer chump. He goes in Florida and trying to get a darker tan. Look at it. You a balloon. Oh, what's you a balloon, but, uh, You can stay there with him. Tanner, I'm gonna beat you. Listen. We may be having a fight here in the center of the ring. This is reminiscent of a scene that once took place between Muhammad Ali and Ernie Terrell in Madison Square Garden's office, as you may remember it. Each man challenging the other. Maybe this is a good way to leave the scene. Except for this, and in a very serious vein, there are many questions to be asked of Jerry Quarry and answered by him.